Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how you can delete a spam or spoofing email from all your Office 365 users mailbox by using Office 365 admin ID and PowerShell. Uh, spam email is very common nowadays but most of the users are not aware of the risk of clicking unverified links and resulting compromising their and organization's uh, mailboxes which can cause a huge financial and reputational damage of the company. So as an IT administrator, if you can delete uh, the specific email from all users mailbox, it will save your organization uh, to compromise and it will save your time also. So to accomplish that, uh, what you can do is uh, we have a three step that you can follow to accomplish this. So first you need to uh, give your admin ID to uh, e-discovery manager permission. So to, go, to do that, you need to go to compliance portal. So here is, I'm going to compliance portal. And then you click on roles and scopes, click on permission. Click on roles on Microsoft uh, per view solutions. You uh, search for uh, e discovery manager. Click on that. So click on edit. So in here, uh, you can uh, give the manager permission or you can give the administrator permission. My preference is uh, you give the uh, administrator permission to get the full access. So just click on next and then click choose users. Then you click your uh, admin ID. Click select. Click on next and then uh, save. So your uh, step one is done. You give the uh, e-discovery administrator permission, the step one is uh, done, complete. It is done. So now uh, step two is uh, to connect to PowerShell. So uh, first of all, what you need to do is to run your PowerShell on administrator from your PC. Uh, so if you uh, do not have install uh, version 3 of the PowerShell then please uh, uh, follow this link, follow this video and uh, install the version 3 to connect to Exchange Online uh, otherwise uh, the script will not work. So let's copy this one and I'm gonna use a notepad for all of the commands that we run because it will easier to manage. So in here it, I will use my uh, global email address. So connect IP section, then user principal name, and then your global administrator email. So I'm going to give my global administrator email in here. Okay. Then uh, copy this one and run in the PowerShell. Click on enter and it will ask for the password. So give your admin password in here. So I'm going to give the password. Click on sign in. So now uh, it's connected. Okay, it's connected. Now we go for the second command. So this is very important and this is where a, the, uh, uh, the main uh, the task that we want to accomplish, it will be done by here. So uh, copy this one, copy the whole command, paste it in your notepad. You can expand it if you want. 
so in here what we have to do is give a new uh, compliance search name so in my case it is remove phishing messages from here and uh, the exchange location it is for all you can search for all mailbox or you can search a specific mailbox but uh, in, in, my, in our case we will search for all mailboxes now the content is query this is important when the message received and what is the subject so let's give uh, today's date so it is a uh, month date and year Let's say we we'll search for twenty-eight. Okay, let me give just twenty-nine uh, because for the testing purpose, I uh, send a mail uh, today. This is a spam mail, so I want to delete this email uh, from. Uh, all the mailboxes but uh, uh, for the testing purpose uh, I'm sending in one email and I want to delete this okay so this will uh, search for this day and the subject now this is important we give the subject of this email so I'm copy the subject then I paste it in here Okay. Now you copy the complete command and then paste it in the PowerShell. Click on enter. Okay, I think I need to give the date uh, 28. Let's try one more time. Okay, let me run one more time. So yes, the command is uh, now working. Uh, it might be, uh, you know, copy paste issue. So, uh, so now what it do is, when I go to the admin center and click on uh, content search, I give it a refresh. See, here is a remove phishing message. There is a content search is starting. Now, see here, I uh, give it a name, and it is uh, searching the content from all the mailboxes, and the content search is already complete. So, my uh, search is already complete. So now, uh, third step is to delete the masses. So to do that, you can do two types of masses in here. One is to uh, remove the masses as a soft delete, or you can hard delete this. So first, we try the soft one. Soft delete is fine, but if you want to delete it permanently, then you can use a hard delete option. So here again, go to the PowerShell, just uh, paste the command, and if it's asking for the permission just give yes so it is starting so now check back my uh, messages in here other two messages also came so the mail is still in here uh, just wait for some times because uh, it is starting so wait for some times see the mail is gone so I did not delete the mail, it is gone. And if I check the deleted item, you can check the deleted item in here. That mail is also not in the deleted item. You can also check the recoverable item. Yes, the mail is gone to the recoverable item because we're choosing the soft delete option. So if you choose the hard delete, then those mail will delete from yeah, the recoverable item. It will delete permanently. So now see there is no email uh, that you received. So you can choose either uh, soft delete or hard delete as per your requirement. 
so my suggestion is you can uh, delete hard delete or uh, for the uh, uh, purposes that you wanted to know that how many emails that come you can uh, using soft soft email no issues so here this way you can accomplish this task and you can modify this uh, you know uh, subject you can modify this uh, date and uh, also that the way you want to search uh, the mailboxes i mean if you don't want to search for all the mailboxes you want to search for the specific mailboxes just uh, change this uh, command change this line exchange a location and in all after all uh, just all option you will just use your email id just use the email id and it will just uh, delete uh, the specific uh, you know query a specific email from that email box only not from all mailbox so this is how you can modify this and uh, you can accomplish this task very easily it's uh, very very easy uh, you can uh, try it without any issues so thank you